So now we are going to see the instruction that is HTHL. For this instruction, the first part is a port that is HTHL. In this instruction, no operand is present. You can see that in this instruction, no data is present. It means this instruction is of only one byte. This is the meaning of the instruction HTHL. HTHL means exchange the content of HL pair with stack. Exchange the content of HL pair with stack. Let's see one example HTHL. Suppose before the execution, the content of stack pointer is 4001H. So right now the stack pointer is pointing at 4001H. The content of HL pair is 1234H. So when this instruction is executed, the data which is present in the HL pair will be exchanged with the stack. So uh, right now the stack pointer is pointing at 4001H. So data which is present in 4001H, that is 78H, it will be exchanged with the lower byte of the HL pair. So the 78H will be transferred. 78H will be transferred to lower byte of HL pair and the 34H will be transferred to the stack where the stack pointer is pointing. So here 34H. After that the value of the stack pointer will be incremented by 1. So now the stack pointer is pointing at 56H. Again the processor will perform the exchange of the data but now the processor will exchange with the higher byte of the HL pair. So this 1 to H will be stored in the stack where the stack pointer is pointing and the data will be transferred to the higher byte of the HL pair that is 5, 6. So after the exchange of the HL and the stack is done the microprocessor will decrement the stack pointer by 1. So again the value of the stack pointer will become 4001. So it will point at the same location at it was pointing. So after the execution the value of the stack pointer will remain same that is 4001 H. Now this instruction is of 1 byte. So when this instruction is stored in the memory it will occupy only 1 memory location. So it will occupy only 1 memory location. And when this instruction is stored, the microprocessor will start its task. That is to fetch decode and execute. To fetch, it will perform the first machine cycle that is upcode fetch. When microprocessor performs the upcode fetch, the processor will decode and execute. Now, if you pay attention during the execution process, what is happening that the content of memory location is transferred to the register and the content of register is transferred to the memory location. So, first of all, we are write, uh, reading one memory location and writing the same memory location. After that, we are reading the another memory location and writing the same memory location. It means we are performing the memory read and memory write two time. So, how many machine cycles are needed? Upward fetch plus memory read plus memory write and again memory read and memory. This instruction is just like an ordinary data transfer instruction. So no flags are of